What's going on, Aquarius? This is my third time recording you guys' this video. Sorry about all that. But yeah, this is my third time trying to get y'all a video out. So let's see. Third time's a charm. So let's see what's what is going on. Sun, moon, and rising um, Aquarius. Let's get a message for Aquarius. So if you have a sun, moon, and rising, you can definitely utilize the video. Let's see. What's going on with Aquarius? Kick to the curb and under spiritual attack. Bugaboo. I felt this bugaboo energy. I felt that when I was just, I told y'all I just had to do you readings, you guys reading twice. For some reason, the um, recording was messing up, but I felt this bugaboo energy. Y'all may need to be running away, running the other way, <laughs> because somebody is like, I'm picking up like obsessed um, with you. Um, you may even have to block this person. This person feels some type of way because they got kicked to the curb. Be mindful and be very careful. This person could be using all types of tactics, um, manipulation, all types of things to kind of get a lick back or to get you um to get to get you under some type of control. But this person, they're not letting up. This person is really mad. Um, and they are upset because they felt like you kicked them to the curb. Spirit is saying, look, running away. Y'all could be trying to get away from this person. And this person just will not let go. They're going to be bugged. They still bug you. They be calling your phone, messaging you, popping up, always around. Like this person is just, they aren't. They aren't going to let this go. They aren't letting this go. What else? Oh, okay. So, too many cards fell. So, we're going to take it to another deck. We're going to take this to another deck because, woo, yeah. Somebody is very, yeah. Look at this. Six of, five of pentacles. And the six of swords. This person is kind of like they feel lost. They feel lost. They don't know which direction to go. Like this person is like, I don't know what I'm gonna do without Aquarius. Where do I go? What do I like? This person is getting really, really codependent on you. Let me message for for Aquarius. I keep wanting to say Capricorn, but we have to be dealing with Capricorn. Let's see. Aquarius. Give me a message for Aquarius. Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. So most definitely, since I wanted to say Capricorn, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy is here. Then we got this Empress. Then we got this Five of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like there's some competition between some people okay it looks like some females here um i'm picking up competition competition here with the queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn um a empress here which is a divine feminine it could be a it could be a baby mother it could be baby mothers quarreling um or just the other parties but it's multiple people it could be up to like five people five or more people two to five people um so it's just a multitude of drama here that i feel like it's, it's coming every which way up here, okay so yeah we got two of pentacles somebody was juggling here you could be trying to juggle you could be trying to juggle, um, juggle these people, okay? To juggle more or somebody that you're dealing with is juggling. Ace of Cups.
King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is energy. I'm seeing you say, I'll be happy when it's over. You feel like it's taking up too much of your time, taking up too much of your energy. I do see, um, we got the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands here, which is a sexual energy here. Um... I'm just seeing like not going back and forth. Somebody not putting any effort either. So you're not wanting to go back and forth. I want to see why this two of pentacles is here. You could be deciding to end things possibly with a Leo or it could be any sign, but I see you having the courage and strength to end this situation and, and cut, cut somebody off. I see you having to cut somebody off. Because so it, it might be too much. Like, it's just too much. Too many people pulling on your energy. It's just too much. Okay? It's just too much. I see you wanting to find a balance. Like, you're just trying to be, you know, trying to find a balance between it all. So, y'all could be playing a field. And y'all may have people fighting over y'all. And you may be able to decide, like, I'm going to cut somebody off. Who I want to cut off. Who I want to cut off. We got the fool here. Somebody's falling. I see some of y'all feeling like <laughs> whoever falls in love. It's so, like, I feel like y'all got, y'all got some options. And I feel like you are like, whoever falls in love, I'm up out of there. Because I'm not ready for it. I got too much on my plate. I got too much other things to focus on. I don't got time to be falling in love right now. I can clearly see, see like, y'all like, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't fall in love because I'm, I'm too busy. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. It could be a Gemini or Aries that you could be dealing with as well i'm seeing multiple people yeah temporary like temporary you know you're not really giving nobody nothing real it's just you single <laughs> you're single you play in the field you play in the field and I, you want you want it to be an even exchange like both of you understand what it is but I feel like somebody does does not get the concept. Somebody has fallen in love. Maybe more than one person has fallen in love. So somebody's coming at you sideways. I feel like somebody's coming off upset about a situation, upset, hurt, um, because they want more. Somebody's stressed out because they found out. You know, what, what, you know, what, how you operating. Somebody may have felt like you left out information. Um, they feel like they don't know all the details. So somebody may have signed up for something that they may have regretted later. But I see y'all kind of like just being like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still fishing. You know, I'm still playing my, playing the field because I see you being too busy or you're focused on your money, your finances to even think about settling down. I feel like some of y'all may feel like it's, you're not ready to settle down. All right, so let's go back to, let's go back to what's going on. Somebody does not want to hear that player stuff, like, I just seen don't want to hear it and player. Somebody does not care what y'all agreed to in the beginning. They don't care about none of that. Somebody does not, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. <laughs> they want a relationship with you. They're okay with keeping it private. They're okay with keeping their connection private. And they want to be exclusive. They want to be the only person that you are dealing with sexually in the bedroom. They don't want to hear none of that other stuff. They don't. They don't want to hear it. This person could also be money hungry. Like they're greedy. Um, 
They want you to spend your money on them all the time, take them places, do things, do things for them all the time. Yeah, and see, we got promiscuous. Sleeps around a hoe. Free for all sleeps with your men. See, you got to be careful. Be careful making sure that you're strapping yourself up. Not just physically, but spiritually too, because we got depression. Okay, so somebody could be spiraling into a depression because they feel like you are keeping them a secret. And they feel betrayed by this, okay? But let's not skip over the part where we got to check yourself. This person could be coming to check you. For some and then some y'all may need to make sure that you're getting a, getting this person checked out um for for any type of sexually transmitted you know diseases and make sure that you are strapping up because somebody here could possibly you know be promiscuous to be promiscuous and they're not strapping up and, and playing it safe yeah see we got caution we got caution. And let's not also forget that we had depression there. So somebody's going through a depression or somebody is depressed and that's a spirit that's something spiritual. So make sure that you are keeping yourself protected from certain type of energies and diseases as well. Yeah, see we got tantric sex. Projectual, projection sex, and then we got nightmare. So somebody is going, this this person, the sex might be good, but this person is a nightmare. Okay, they don't have, they're not emotionally disciplined enough um, to, for you, and where you're at, and the, how, you, how you're wanting things to go. It's gonna end up being a nightmare anymore. This person is toxic as hell, okay? They're toxic, they are toxic, they are toxic, and they are definitely coming in after you. They are coming in after you. They sure is, and they in their feelings. Like I said, this person is very, 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 very in emotional. Like, this person is very emotional. They're emotional because they feel like you've been acting like you've been too busy for them, like you don't have time for them. Um, and they want your time. They want your energy. They want your time. They want it. For some, this is a baby mother. We got pregnancy tests, bugaboo, and we have parenting. So somebody could pop up pregnant, okay? Somebody could pop up pregnant, or for some, this is um, someone who you have a child with. Um, that's just a bugaboo. They just won't get over it. They just can't. They just act like they just can't get over um, the breakup, the split, or how things are going between. They want more. This person wants more and more and more from you. Anything else? Okay. Let's get a final outcome. Well, let's see how they're, they're going to keep coming towards. How are they coming towards Aquarius? Oh, okay. Compromise. They want to compromise with you. <laughs> they want to compromise. They want to come up with something. And then they're going to be trying to play the victim. Yeah, they need to go do some healing. So this person, they're very damaged. They feel some type of way. For a lot of you, this is definitely like an ex. Um, this person wants to compromise. They want to come to some type of compromise with you. They are going to be playing the victim role. And they have not healed. They, they are unhealed. They're not healed from the split or whatever happened between the two. They're not healed. They're not. They're not even faking it either. They're not even trying to fake it. This person is letting it be known that they are like damaged. They're damaged. This may be something that you've been going through with this person for a while. You've been going through it and going through it and going through it for a while. Abandoned. So this person could have like 
abandonment issues. They feel like you abandoned them. And then we got received. Tell me more. Yeah, inner child. I'm feeling like a child is involved or children is involved in this. I'm picking up like a baby mama or a baby father or something like that. An ex. But I feel like children are involved in this particular situation. Let's get a let's get a um, you know, but let me see what this person wants to say. What do they want to say? What does this person want to say to them? I left when I saw you with someone. I regret lying to you. You and I were too young. But this person is not denying that you were the best thing in their life. In their life. Okay, so this person, they are still stuck. They're having regrets. They're regret, regretting walking away from a connection. They're just regretting. They're having regrets. Show me the outcome. The possible outcome for this. So tell me what's ahead. What's coming ahead? What's coming ahead? What does Aquarius need to know? What's coming ahead here? We got the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Page of Wands. And the Six of Wands. Don't be surprised if this person starts to tell everybody how they feel. Don't be surprised if the person starts spreading you guys' business all over the place, telling everybody who will listen how they feel, okay? Don't be surprised. Do not be surprised. Do not be surprised. I see this person telling anybody who will listen to kind of tarnish and smear your name. Yeah, because they they are having regrets. They have no regrets, they got regrets. So this person will be going around telling other people how they feel, how they, how you and them, whatever you two have going on behind the scenes. This person will be spreading that to anybody who will listen. So just so you will be aware so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below and i'm gonna chat with you guys later be sure to comment below as well as share and subscribe if you are new all right so until next time guys i'm gonna chat with y'all later